It's not at all cost. We can't be irresponsible. CSAP is not saying, hey, that we don't put the safety and the health of the nation first. That would be very irresponsible of this Congress. But you have to have a plan. If you're going to tell me what the plan is currently, I'd be very happy to, to, to sit and say, okay, we track. Well, I've said and said, okay, there's a plan, and maybe the plan needs to be tweaked. But I can see no essence. Every time that something happens, somebody gets COVID, we get a news conference, and all hell breaks loose. And, and, and then what? Two weeks, we go, we go back to normalcy. Next week, somebody in some department gets COVID, and we go again like, hey, cap, out the, out the bag. What is the structure? We need to understand that COVID is a disease. Look, people die of the flu every year. I ain't here for the die of the flu this year. Everybody died of COVID. Okay? So somebody tells me what? And I, all I've heard, the symptoms are all the same. But the medical experts say it's COVID. But I've always said, if you look in the obituaries of the newspapers every week, on average, you can see about 60, 70 people a day. And we've been dying one person in trickles in COVID. So where's the major alarm? Is it not the crisis we are creating with the NCDs that people not being treated and stuff who are suffering because of fear of going to the medical institutions? Are not we how we dress this thing, holistically or in part? So I'm saying why create the major fear in the country every minute because something happens? Be a small country. So why are we, are we want to compare? We will not be a utopia. We are not going to get rid of COVID. So, but if the medical experts and others believe that each time you come in and to run people in homes, people are doing what? Out of work, unemployment high, businesses closing. On, we are going to be in a position where our recovery, I don't know how we're going to get back and when. Because this state is going to be a very lasting state if we continue with this in, to my unstructured approach to managing the process. And that's my position. Um, is that CETOSAN's position or your position as a general secretary? I speak as general secretary of CETOSAN. And I don't believe that CETOSAN is a responsible organization because if we had consultation, we would make our views known at the table. It's not that we have anything to hide because we all are in the interest of Barbados. And we don't want to see people die. We don't want people to be sick. But we don't want to have a situation where we have a society that is going to fall to the bottom. Because whatever happens, we have to manage the crisis. Uh, 